Uh, hello traders, today is uh, the 15th of um, April 2010 and I have here the, a 3 minute chart of the Euro USD, a live chart and uh, we have here on 3 minute chart uh, this uh, uptrend you see if you follow my cursor here up to here okay now the trend line is broken and this uh, support level is being retested by this two green candle here um, the price should come down okay so this is just to show you how you can uh, quickly uh, see the, the weakness in the momentum of the price so uh, during the uptrend the, the price will be making uh, higher lows okay higher lows higher lows and higher high, higher highs okay this is the uptrend okay and the price will respect the trend line okay if the trend line is broken and we have a nearest support level that support level should be retested okay and this is what's happening here okay right now the retesting of support and resistance level at the confirmation okay of entry or exit okay so this is what's happening here this one is giving us the opportunity to enter the trade okay right here right now okay this is what's happening here the euro should come down further okay and uh, maybe up to this uh, the next support level here like i said to you during the downtrend the price will move from one zone of support to the next level of support okay if one support level has failed the price will seek the next support level if that one also fell you will seek the one further down that's what's, what's happening okay that's why it's important that you take in profit at the support levels where the price is going down okay because if the price come in here now and you find a support it may turn around okay and then if you break it down again then you come back again okay up to here okay but it depends on everybody uh, trading strategy okay there is no uh, a particular way everybody should trade and uh, if you watch all the youtube video you see that uh, different traders using uh, different tactics or strategy uh, to manage or to enter or to exit their trade okay so just keep looking at this and see how this will develop uh, with the euro uh, usd okay so we, we didn't have any indicator here at all okay we see the trend line here this is now okay and being retested why the price didn't go all the way here to retest the trend line because of this support level here okay this horizontal support level here that's where the price test it that's enough for us okay it does not need to come all the way to the trend line anymore you will test this sub this support level here that now has become a resistance level okay and we are expecting the euro to come down and seek uh, another support level somewhere here or somewhere here okay just this is just a very easy trend because a lot of traders get confused because they are not looking at the price what's going on and like i said to you the, the uh, one of the powerful indicators also you can use is the trend line okay you see now once it's broken nobody is interested to 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 to, to buy anymore that's what the professional are doing once they see the trend is broken okay here you break it you see the people push it back in after this uh, candle here we know that uh, the price fund support here and it continue the upward movement okay here you break it down below it at the next candle if you saw this straight away here because this green candle support to retest the trend line but it closed above it so it give us again a buy signal right here okay and it continue okay i know some a lot of people use the moving averages because moving averages are simple but powerful tools that people can use okay uh, in most cases, what usually happens is that uh, 
during the uptrend the price will continue its uh, ascending movement okay which means the momentum the bullish momentum is increasing okay so we are seeing the higher lows higher highs okay that means that the bulls are in control okay but when they when they start getting uh, weak the uptrend is getting weak you will notice that because the price will fail to find support or, or display a lower low at one particular point or a lower high okay if one of those happen you know straight away that uh, there is a weakness okay in that uh, uptrend okay like here the price instead of having this is the last mm, higher low here okay the last higher low here but instead of finding a, a higher low from here look this is green cut here it come back all the way here not only that to the same level instead of having a higher low here okay and then fail again at this uh, where it did find support before it fell again here so it's just telling us that the mood has changed okay the mood has changed the bulls has given uh, the command now to the bear okay and you sell okay you sell okay and this is what's happening now and the price is coming down nicely okay if you are using the moving apparatus which are lagging indicator they are a bit slow but uh, if you know how to use them the best way to use them is to use them with um, chart pattern okay so you see a double top and then your favorite two moving averages crosses okay or you see a double bottom and then your favorite uh, moving averages uh, crosses that's how you will play with the moving averages in order to avoid whipsaw okay because when you see a double top what the price tell you is saying that we are in a zone or there's a high probability of supply in this region okay there is a high probability of supply in this region okay so we stop and pay attention to that okay because the price came to the same level okay pull back and then try to go further above that level and find again a resistance there okay which means those who sold it here okay are still there there are others being placed at that level and the price could not go above that level okay so we sell because we have a double top okay it's telling us region of supply is now confirmed after you see the double tops and same thing when you see double bottom and it's telling us there is a confirmation for uh, this zone as a, a demand zone okay the region of demand is here people are interested to buy at this level of double bottom okay so this is how we will do it because all we are trying to do is to analyze what the price is telling us okay you see now it's simple okay we sell it here okay a bit boring trade easy trade okay this is the conservative way of trading okay you sit down you wait you wait you wait it's set nicely for you and then you you get into it that's why people are doing here and they made uh, they make their money quickly okay so if you come in after this candle here which is uh, 13559 you are now at 135 uh, uh how much 45 okay so that's not too bad that's like a 14 pip so far for not say 15 pip so no bad no bad no bad for few minutes work here that's how many minutes that's uh only nine minutes now okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, have a happy trading okay till next time enjoy yourself and be very very happy thank you